car gauges, baby. You call. <laughs> Have a go at this. Red dirt, red is red, and then beautiful green. These massive termite mounds in here. Oh, isn't this just Cape York? It's so red. I haven't seen it this red yet, I don't think. No, no, and it's like talcum powder. Yeah, look at my boots. They're getting red on them. Oh, no. No, nah, that's what it's all about. Get the shoe shining boy out. <laughs> that's me. Oh, how good does it look? never seen anything like this. You could just hide behind that, no one would know you're there. When the car comes past, they'll be like... <laughs> well guys, we made it to Bramwell Station and we joined a convoy. So <laughs> How much fun was that? So good, so much fun and doing it, well so much more fun doing it with friends. So we've joined along with Lost Tribe Adventures, which is Aaron and Steph and their two little ones. Lifestyle Up, Denny and Emma. We just met these guys like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, so we... this is a test for the name. Sarah Keelan <laughs> Travels, Just Vanning It, Derek and Sue, The Drifting Woods. Mark and Ness. Ness and their little ones, Audrey and Isla. And then we've got Simon and Georgie as well. So yeah, it's it's good to be able to be on the uh, the red dirt and over the corrugations and all be on the on the two ways like <laughs> dip coming off. Well, it's actually a lot safer traveling with people because yeah, you get a bit of a warning. They give you a heads up. Yeah. Saw... Tomorrow we are going to go have a look at the old telly track. Uh, Won't make any promises. <laughs> Won't make any promises, but we'll have a look. That's for sure. <laughs> As today is the day that we're doing the old telegraph track. I am so nervous. I've done about three nervous wheeze already this morning. <laughs> I think so. What have you been up to this morning, This morning Brad? I've just pulled pretty much everything that wasn't tied down out of the back so we're as light as possible. I took the stone stomper off and replaced it with a recovery point because I think we're going to need it and um, just about to let the tyres down, so we're almost ready to go. <laughs> and I'm bricking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you are too. <laughs> Belly track, babe. How chaotic is it? It's so cool though. This is so much fun already. I was definitely a lot more nervous this morning, but now that we're at the sign, everyone's getting pumped up. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh God. <laughs> Don't come with seven YouTubers because um, they end up doing this to the bloody We're sign. holding up the queue for yeah. the photo shop. <laughs> Things have come to a pretty abrupt stop at Palm Creek. We're all sort of just lining up to um, to go down the go down the drop, and heard someone scream, and someone actually got crushed by a car. Cut left the, the car was in gear, and someone started it, and someone was minced between two cars. Yeah, the bloke seems all right, but um, he needs to be airlifted out of here. So we've sort of just been hanging around for a few hours. They've set up a little helipad for the chopper to come out of Max Tracks. And uh, I think that's about it for the end of the for the end of the telly track today. We might give it another crack tomorrow, but um yeah, kills kills the mood a bit when someone gets hurt like that. So hope he um hope he makes it alright. So they're gonna give us an update on the bloke um yeah when they know when they know more but yeah not good. Not good but it just goes to show anything can happen when you're in the middle of nowhere it just magnifies magnifies the problems so uh probably pick back up back at the Bramall station later on see what's going on
You pack your spare pair of undies? Mate, I've got about five. Oh, I'm going to borrow some. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to take two of the old Telegraph track. We're just making our way back into Palm Beach now. Um, Palm Creek. Palm, Palm Beach, that's where we used to live. <laughs> Palm Creek we're going into. There was a lot of people on the track yesterday and there's hardly anyone here. I we've passed one person so looks like we might have the rule of the roost today. How are you feeling Patsy? Look, I'm still, still nervous but um, you're a lot more confident today, so oh, yeah. that makes me feel more confident. Yeah. So. I listen to everything that Aaron, Simon, Danny. Keelan, Danny, or everything. They they give me so much advice last night and because we're complete amateur four-wheel drivers and we're doing the old telegraph track. So to say that we're thrown in the deep end is probably a bit of an understatement. But, but these are the guys they, to oh, with. <laughs> they have so much knowledge. Um, it's not funny. And um, I have no doubt that I'm going to come out of this being not like way more confident and much better at four-wheel driving. So, hang on, it should be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> This is it guys, Palm Creek Chicken Track. Not much of a chicken track if you ask me, but... Palm Creek, no winch required. Oh, if it looks like I'm sweating, it's because I am. Oh my god, that's incredible. All right, so everyone made it through the first one, even Keel and Mark with no lockers. And we've just got the second creek, and she's a bit of a deep one with a steep entry, but a pretty easy exit point. So, see how we go on this one. <laughs> Alice Creek? Yes. Yeah. How pretty was the driving? So nice, so red. Even this here, like, this is so vivid, the greens and the reds. It's gorgeous. A little grass. And they've just been doing a bit of backburning in, um, along the track, so it's all super green and all new growth. Unreal.
Can I have your GoPro, bro? Is this how, um... So we've made it to the fourth creek crossing. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I'll put it down the bottom. And we're absolutely blessed with this one because this is just fully like stones, like someone's thrown concrete down. So we can just go from there, over there, down to there. But I don't know, we might go for a swim down there because there's a little waterfall and a really deep pool. And um, I don't know, after like 30 or 40 Ks of dusty, dirty roads and muddy creeks, um, to find this is pretty special, so I have to go for a swim. Kelly track continues. Yeah, what a spot to just stop for lunch. That's exactly what I imagine the Cape Van like. Stop on a freshwater creek, have a swim, have some lunch, cool off a bit. Perfect. You. Bit of an underbody wash. Yeah, it's easy, boys. This is gunshot. Yeah, this looks this looks more this like gunshot. Looks more like gunshot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a crack. I think I have a crack. Oh yeah. Look at that his face. Well, these here are the chicken tracks, and they're all. Pretty much 70, 80 degree vertical drops right into well, ankle depth clay and knee depth water. So that's pretty ordinary, but the other alternative is I'll show you in a second. Oh, and that's gunshot there. They're notorious. I'm knee depth in water here. You'll be sweet. 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 You'll We're 40 or 50 k's into the old telly track on the south side. It's good to see we're on the right path because here is literally what it's named after, an old telegraph pole. Crazy to think the blokes that put those in hundreds of years ago, um, they probably would never have thought that it would turn into a four wheel drive like end goal like this.
wasn't much of a chicken track, trust me. That was scary. That was the gnarliest thing I've ever done, for sure. We've just got so much trust in this crew here and so much experience like they, Danny and Simon and Mark and they all know exactly what they're doing and they just like patch the track up enough for us to get through. Yeah, you know, you have a heap of people down the bottom of gunshot and they're there all There was like, like 30 people there telling you which way to go. They're all telling you like, yeah, we did this, you just do that, blah, Full blah, of blah. beers, like <laughs> egging like, everyone yeah. on. But it's like, I, I said to Brad, don't listen to anyone but Denny. Whatever Denny yeah. tells you to do, do that. And you'll probably see the photo or the video of us coming up out of gunshot. Um, I just had eyes on Danny. I wasn't even looking at anything else. I just had my foot off the clutch, just dead set staring at Danny. He would point left, right. I would just turn the wheel and it just walked it up. Uh, the, the twin lockers in the cruiser, uh, they're lifesavers. We're almost out. We've got Cockatoo Creek left, I think. Uh, did come up? Did you to look? All right, so the last obstacle on the old telly track, south end. This is Cockatoo Creek. We've got 20 k's to the the development road and then we've got 100 k's back to camp so the sun's already starting to dip down now uh, we're running out of daylight um, so i think we'll get back to camp in the dark um, it's just been such a long day such an epic day so derek's going to throw the drone up we haven't got a drone anymore so this is going to be a treat for us Alright guys, I hope you can still see us. I can see a bit of red in the screen, so that's that Cape York glow, but how about that for an episode? The old Found telegraph them. track. I actually never thought we'd do that. No, way. that is a bucket list thing, and I never thought I'd tick it off, and I just have thanks to some legends. But this is a sign here. We've done it, the south. Don't know about the north yet, but if that if that's the case, it'll be in another episode. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Chuck us a like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, see you later. Woo!